perfect. It's like a light purple. This is my absolute favorite color in the whole entire world, lavender. And we're pressing it on the lid right across. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I absolutely love this color. Like when I die, dress me in Kitchmas. And as you can see, it's also the color of my wallpaper. It's very sparkly lavender. Oh, I love this color. So pretty. I love glitter. I love glitter. I love Christmas. I love everything. Okay. So once we're done with that, we want to accent the bottom of our lid. And we're going to switch it up a little bit because I don't want this to look too similar to um, last night's look. So I'm going to find a really pretty color to put on the bottom of my lid. And this one always works when I want to use purples. It's the color Omen. And this is a long time ago, an Urban Decay palette. And it's probably not on the market, to be honest. I don't even know the name of it but it's in a purple velvet container and it's got all these really fun colors on it. So if you can still find it, go for it. But I got this years ago and I've still used it to this day. So it just goes to show that their shadows clearly are long lasting and work really well. So um, anyways, I'm going in with my blending brush right under the eye with that color Omen. If I had to describe it, it's like an ocean purple because it has those blue colors come through and it's kind of like neon-y, neon, neon-y. <laughs> um, it's really cool. Once that's done, I'm going to take more of that sparkly kitchmas color and I'm going to put it right in the tear duct. Be careful with these pigments, they can be pretty messy. Oh, I die, it's so pretty. If you don't like gl glitter this much, it's probably like not the tutorial for you, but don't be afraid to like try new things because everyone's always like, oh, I love your makeup, I could never do that. Like, yeah, you can. What's holding you back, girl? And then just blend it a little bit so it's not too harsh. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun. Okay. We're making really good time. And then we're gonna use some hot mama lashes if I can find them. My old boss used to call them hot mama lashes all the time. Um now we're going to what are these? These are Sephora Audacious, number 21. I like these a lot. I've been having really good luck with putting strip lashes on, and I think it's because I've had the practice now that I don't have the extensions. So basically, we coat one lash. I, co I usually, this is what I do. I coat one lash with glue, and then I get the other one ready. I do this with my brides too. I'll have them like hold one lash because it needs to dry. The glue needs to get tacky. That is the key to strip lashes. Let the glue get tacky because then it's gonna stick right on your lid where a lot of people make the mistake, I did too, it took me like months to figure out that if you put it right on your lid, it's just gonna slide all across. You're not gonna, you're gonna get frustrated. You don't even want them anymore. So now that I've done that second one, I'm going to let that sit. Take the first one that's been drying. It doesn't take too long to dry. It's like tacky glue. So just like blow on it. Give it some time. You can take your fingers. Notice how I'm going like this. I'm creating that curve so that it just sits right on my eye. I hold it by the center of the lash and then I go right on the center. Oh, see, it's not 
easy. And then I kind of like position it. Oh goodness. <laughs> You're not alone if you have trouble. Okay, there we go. So just like work with it. And the reason why it just kind of sat in its own place is because it was tacky. So I'm like pressing it into my lid because it's really hard to like get in there. Trust me, these are not easy. Some people are professionals and I genuinely think that's because they've been doing it for like forever and they haven't, you know, some people use these every day. Okay, so round two. Do we have it, folks? Oh, success. Okay, so I'm just gonna say right now, if this video dies from this point on, all you're doing for the rest of this tutorial is putting on a lipstick of your choice. I prefer nude and bought a mascara. <laughs> this is my life. I'm so scared the camera's gonna turn off. Okay. <sighs> mascara time. Hammer time. Oh, and I'm probably gonna put some liner on in my tear duct. There will also be pictures posted along with this. So in my other tutorial, I just mentioned that with lash strip lashes, sometimes you can see your lashes like underneath it. So you can just, when it's all dried, take mascara and push it like this. And it'll kind of like coat your lashes with mascara and connect the two. What am I gonna call this one? has to be related to Christmas, so I don't know if I should do like... I did Sugar Plum Fairy last night, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Good. Uh, liner. Oh, I have purple. We're using purple. This is just a standard plum color. It's not really coming out that fast. I'll just keep going back and forth. There it goes. And then the same to the other side. Oh, we're doing so well. Perfect. Ah, I can't believe we made it. Okay, what do I do for lipstick? I'm gonna use Mariah Carey Crim Sheen. No, that's the type of lipstick. Mariah Carey Lipstick Bit of Bubbly. It's a very nude color. Look at this packaging. I die. And then, hmm, you're going to be blown away because I'm doing this. I recently posted a picture saying that there's no rules to makeup. You can always use anything. I'm going to put some of these sparkles left on my brush on my lips. Watch. It's just like a little more of a glimmer. You know, shimmer. You don't have to do that, but you can always put uh, like shadows over your lipsticks. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So that's it. You now just set your face with setting spray and you're done. So I can't believe that we just got this video done. Um, I should also mention that if you want to, sometimes it bothers people that the lashes stop right there. They want it to like to connect. You can use liner, like black eyeliner, and just, you can either do a line first right across your lid and then attach your lashes, or you can just connect a little black liner in the tear duct to make it look a little bit more, you know, natural and like it's your lashes, but it doesn't really bother me so much. So I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So this is look number 11. We have one more to go. I have no idea what I'm going to call it, but 
it's really fun and I'm glad that it's my favorite color. So hope everybody enjoyed this and you have a Merry Christmas. Bye.